Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we will understand what is state in React. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to create a component properties and how to use it. Now in this lecture, we will understand what is the use of state and its benefit. Right? So let's understand what is state. Without state, your React application is just a glorified static template. Using state, you can make your application interactive. I hope you excited as I am because understanding state will help you to build interesting applications. Imagine that you are building an autocomplete input text box. When you type in it, you want to make a request to the server to fetch information about matches to show on the web page. So far, you have worked with the properties and you have learned that by changing properties, you can get different views. But properties can't change in the context of the current component because they are passed on the component creation. In other words, you can say properties are immutable in the current component, meaning you don't change properties in this component unless you recreate the component by passing new values from a parent. It means if you wanted to change a property of a component, you need to extend that component and change its property, or you can just recall the component and then change the property. Then how do you change the view if your properties are unchangeable. In this situation, you have state object. With React component state, you can build meaningful interactive React application. State is a core concept that lets you to build React components that can store data and the argument views based on data change. A React is a mutable data store of components, self-contained, functionality, centric blocks of UI and logic. Mutable means state values can change anytime. State data is often used to display dynamic information in a view to augment the rendering of views. State is not a component property, it is an attribute of component. To work with state, you can access them by name. This name is an attribute of the this.state object. The state can be two types, a singular and plural. If you just specify state, then this attribute refers to the individual attribute of this dot state object in component. And states almost always refers to the multiple attributes of the state object of the component. React takes core of keeping views up to date when the state uses in the view changes. In essence, when state changes, only a corresponding part of views change. Everything else in the DOM remains intact. This is possible due to the virtual DOM. React developer use state to generate new UIs. Let's understand how to access state. The state object is an attribute of component and can be accessed with a this reference. For example, this dot state dot name. So using this statement, we are creating a property called name. This syntax is similar to the way you access properties with this dot property dot name, right? Now, Let's understand what is the difference between state and property. State and properties are both attribute of class, meaning they are this dot state and this dot props. That's the only similarity. One of the primary difference between states and properties is that the former are mutable, whereas the latter are immutable. Another difference between properties and states is that you can pass properties from parent components, whereas you define state in the component itself, not its parent. So properties determine the view upon creation and then they remain static. They don't change. The state on the other hand is set and update by the object. Properties and states serve different purposes, but both are accessible as attributes of the component class and both help you to compose components with a different representation or you can say views. Right? So in the next lecture, we will understand how to create a component with state attribute. I hope you understand what is the use of state in the React application. In the next lecture, we will understand what is the use of state to change value dynamically. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.